Hi everyone, I hope this video finds you well. I just got back from the range, so I'm sorry for my appearance. I look a little bit disheveled because I just got out of the shower. The very first thing that I do when I get back from the range, particularly when I've been out on a night shoot, is to take a shower. I want to get the GSR and the lead dust and all that sort of stuff off myself, and you'd be surprised how dirty you can get when you can't see what you're doing. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> That's why the lights are off. <laughs> There's a joke in there. I haven't dug it out yet, but I'm sure that somebody will help me out in the comment section down below. A few hours ago, I published the Whip Machine Mod 1 video, and on the actual page itself, and then on multiple of the social media accounts that I run, I've seen people say something along the lines of, how come you didn't use a decibel meter to show us what the decibel reduction was? Because they're expensive, Jack. You can't use a normal store-bought decibel meter. You, this isn't a $20 item, a $100 item, a $1,000 item. You can't use the cheapy ones that you buy at a retail shop or something like that because when you're talking about gunshots, even suppressed gunshots, you're talking about something that has a very high dB rating, so something that is very loud, and then something that happens very quickly. It has a very sharp peak, and the sample rate for the normal db meter that you would get or one of the ones on your phone you know that sort of stuff they are nowhere near fast enough we're talking orders of magnitude too slow to be able to capture the actual peak of the gunshot so you can't get accurate data there's no reason to take it if you don't have the right equipment i want one i have tried to get one for multiple years I have no idea what they look like right now in the chip shortage that's going on. I cannot imagine what they are. They have got to be exorbitantly expensive. But I hear you. I would love to be able to do that. I just can't justify that piece of equipment for the number of tests that I perform on a yearly basis. But I'll meet you halfway. If you're a person that thinks that that piece of information is the most important information that you can get out of a suppressor video, then I challenge you to put your money where your mouth is and go over to our Patreon page or our Subscribestar page and get on our list. I will meet you halfway, literally. I'll give you three months, the entire audience, to fund a meter. If you guys make it to halfway through the cost, because I'm going to have to go get a quote, and I'm not going to be able to share that with you because they won't give me another one in the future. I guarantee you that's like a proprietary thing. you got to buy it like a piece of scientific equipment. In three months' time, if I approximate that we are anywhere close to funding one of those meters, then I will absolutely go buy one and I will concede that you guys actually cared about that. That's something that you wanted to see. And therefore, I will meet you halfway. But that's going to mean that you guys are going to have to actually do something because I'm I'm not burning 20k on a meter. I'm just not doing it. I'm sorry. Personally speaking, I'm not trying to push you one way or the other because I do want one. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm still going to do all the stuff that I normally do even if I got a meter because I feel like those particular things when it comes to suppressors are more important to the overall user experience than what the raw DB data actually is. I Do I think that manufacturers should absolutely go and get their devices DB tested so they can report the relative DB data to their potential consumers? Yes, they should. But there are, in fact, I'm going to say most suppressor manufacturers do not own a meter that is capable of doing that. In fact, I was just talking to one later or earlier in the week not anybody that I've tested recently, about <laughs> what that cost looks like and where they can get one. And they were like, oh my gosh, we did not expect it to be that expensive. And sure enough, they are not purchasing one. But I said, and I'll stand by it, that if you guys do it, then I'll do it. Thank you guys for watching. I know this is a quick video. And uh, yeah, that's just the state of affairs. That's what is what it is. Low editing, just the message that I'm hopefully disseminating well to you guys that uh, it's not as easy as just pushing a couple buttons and, and you know, that thing happens. It's not just a pull it out of an Amazon box, you know, prime. No, it doesn't work that way, guys. Sorry. I wish it did.